colleague where I was. Perfect. All right, it's on. Now, I'm gonna go here. Facebook, I'm gonna refresh. Here we have, this is a photo. Click again, burn once. All right, this takes only a few seconds. Perfect, it's on. Now, I'm gonna go to my Facebook and I'm gonna refresh. Perfect. Now, I have here, this is a new reel. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to automate your Facebook so you can schedule and publish unlimited times. And here we have the flowchart. We're going to start from the Google Studios database and then depending on what day you want to post, you're unable to schedule and then it will be automatically posted your photos and your reels. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start from scratch. Go here and create a new scenario. Once you're here, the first module that we're gonna add here is Google Sheets. And in this part, when the search rows. Perfect. Now we're gonna go and create our database. The title. Okay. This is the title, the Facebook automation. In these fields, we need to complete. The first field here is a title. And another thing that we need here is the URL, the date. The type. And it, it was positive. Perfect. And here we're gonna add this drop down. The first option will be the post, and the second option will be real. I'm gonna change the colors. All right. And in this part, I'm gonna add again the drop down. And if it was scheduled or positive. All right. I'm gonna use this color. So I have these options, these two options here. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna customize this part. First of all, the color is really for Facebook. Perfect. That's all. Now let's jump into make the come again. We're gonna look for this new sheet it's facebook automation i need to refresh this part and it is the name of the google sheet okay the sheet name the sheet one and then this part and filter in this part when a filter by date and here the date we need to use this format date 
deal with it. Here we have now, and the format will be month, month, day, day. Day, day. And the year. All right. This is a format. And that's all. Click save. The next module that I'm gonna add here is Google Drive. And here, first, wanna search. Okay. And go again here. Google Drive select. We wanna add a new photo. This will be the name. The same name. Create. Perfect. Now go again to make the com. And here when I look for this. New photo, okay. And here we have Facebook automation and retrieve. We need files and folders. Search, search within five folder names and here we wanna search the title. And in this part, search options, select search for name containing the search term. Click save. All right, and the next module, again, Google Drive. We're gonna download this file. The file ID from the previous module, file ID. Click save. The next thing here, we're gonna select a router. This router will be the first for the post and the second for the real. The first here, we're gonna look for Facebook and select this part. And here, Create a post with photos. Select your account. And here in page, select a page. And in this part, automatically will be recognized this. Okay. Caption. For this example, I'm gonna use only the title. You can add hashtags and other things here. But for this example, I'm not only select this message. I think the same. Click and save. Click save. And another thing that I'm gonna add here is we're gonna update our Google Sheet. Select update the row, and here again we're gonna select the name of the sheet. It's Facebook automation. The sheet name, the row number. It comes from the first module. Row number, and what do you? What? Okay, and here. Three, two, one. And here, what we're gonna update here, first of all, we need to update the URL with content link. And the another field will be here. It was posted. Okay, that's all. Click save. And, and it's another part. I'm gonna do the similar thing for the reels. Facebook page, go here to videos, upload a video.
Okay, and here again, select your account, select your page here in the description. I'm gonna use the same thing, the title, click save. And again, we need to update the row. And here, I'm gonna only clone this module. Basically, it means that it's a similar thing. The link in, it was changed to pause it. All right, now, another thing, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add some filters. The first filter here, I'm gonna add the condition, and here, the type, this is a post, and here, positive, it was a schedule, okay? And similar thing here, I need to set up a filter condition, similar the type if it is real and this part it was schedule okay it means that this is for the photo and this second part is for the video or real okay perfect now everything is done it's time to make a test all right from here first of all I'm gonna go here to get dry and here I'm gonna save first of all a photo Perfect. This is a photo. And go here to my database. I'm gonna use the same name. The date. Today. The type. It will be a post. And we need to schedule. Alright, let's jump in to make the come again. We have everything here. And here, click run once. Perfect. Alright, it's on. Now, I'm gonna go here. Facebook, I'm gonna refresh. Here we have this is a photo. It comes down to one simple thing. How bad do you want it? Perfect. Now I'm gonna go to my database. And here and here you have this is the URL and it will change it to pause it. Okay. And now I'm gonna add a new text here for the real. I'm gonna do a similar thing here. In this part, I need to upload a reel. And in this case, I'm gonna use this video. Perfect. I'm gonna go to my database again and the title. I'm gonna use the name of the video for this case. Perfect. The date will be the same. And here. First of all, this is a new reel. And in this part, I'm gonna change. Because I'm scheduled for this day. Alright. Everything is on here. Let's jump into Meta.com again. And click again, run once, all right, 
this takes only a few seconds. Perfect, it's done. Now I'm gonna go to my Facebook and I'm gonna refresh. Perfect. Now I have here this is a new rail. I'm the table and front and I'm just Perfect. Alright. So that's all. Remember you have here this full chart, but you can add another things here. In make the comp you can add a bunch of tools. If you have you can add new modules, you can use ChatGPT or another AI in order to you can automate everything here. Okay. But if you can automate not only your Facebook, you can automate your Instagram or your YouTube channel or another social media platform, you will find this all on the previous videos. Okay. Well I think that is all. So, you can get a blueprint of this scenario. Just go to the description below this video, and there you'll find a link to the blueprint. And you can download it, and then you can adapt it to yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any question, feel free to leave that down below. And stay tuned for more. See you in the next video.